Hi guys, it's me, the Big B, back again. It's been a little while. Like I said in my last video, I was moving abroad, so I would be offline for a couple of weeks. But I'm back on, I'm sorted, and here I am in sunny Gibraltar. I know it's hard to see because I'm sitting in the living room at the minute, but it is sunny, trust me, and it's going to be nice and warm today, thank God. And I am not missing the weather over in the UK at the moment. But, back to why we're here. I'm going to do a review on a custom ROM. Now, before I moved, I got a cheap phone just to come over with and just so I could, you know, mess on and what have you and not, you know, lose an expensive phone. So I got an Huawei Y300, basic Android phone, not bad, cost us about 70 odd quid, not bad for the spec, but the version of Android that was on it, as you can imagine, wasn't fantastic and the front end wasn't brilliant, but as in hardware specs, it was really good. So I looked into some custom ROMs. And I finally settled on this one. It's Slimcat's ROM and it's 4.4. I've written this down, 4.4.2, and it's version 3.2 at the minute. So it's basically KitKat. Now a lot of people in the forums have reported that there's a lot of problems with it, and it's a bit ropey and a bit dodgy, and this doesn't work, and that doesn't work, and blah blah blah, as you know you get with these things. Now I've put it on, and so far. I've had very little problems with it. Um, over stock ROM that's on these phones, it is really, really good. And I'll show you some of the features. I'll swap the camera over in a minute and we can have a look at it. Now, I'll link to the website where all the ROMs, it's on, uh, how would you pronounce this, Modico website. And it, all the ROMs for this phone are there right from the very first one to the latest stock ROM, but modified, obviously, and there's different versions, um, which I've tried. Some of them are really good over basic stock because they've been modified slightly but then it goes into Cinemod 10, 10.1, 11 some of them have got problems there's like say, a link to the website you can have a look yourself but the main one to go for is Slim Cats it's really really good and if you flash it properly and do what it says via the instructions which a lot of people tend not to do it's working fine and I've had no major problems with it. I'll go through some of the plus and some of the minuses because there are a couple of little hiccups, nothing compared to what some people have reported. My God, some people have said, you know, this is not working, it's doing this, it's doing that. You're not doing it right, guys. If it's doing all that crap and it's just going tits up like a lot of you reporting, you're not doing it right. I did it first time and it worked flawlessly. So I'm going to switch the camera around and we'll get into it and I'll get into the sort of like the the, the nuts and bolts of it and what uh, modified recovery ROM you need on here to, to flash certain things and especially this version of um, the, the, the Slim Catch ROM. So I'll just swap the camera around guys, bear with me. Right guys, here we go. Now I've booted into the recovery to start off with to show you exactly which recovery you need or definitely need to be flashing this version of SimCat, SlimCat even. I'm using Tim Win, Team Win, kind of get me words out, Team Win Recovery Project version 2633. Now you need this in order to be able to flash this version of SlimCat and get everything working fine. If you don't, you're going to run into problems. Now it's very basic to use, it's all touchscreen. If you just follow the instructions, I'm not going to show you how to install this there's plenty again there's plenty of videos showing you how to install this custom ROM and how everything works how to wipe how to flash it's really really simple guys it's not rocket science Um, again just google it you'll find out so basically I'm just going to reboot now reboot system and we'll get into it and you'll see everything from the beginning hopefully you can see this all right guys Me Camera keeps trying to move on as I'll try and get a better, better view here. Here we go. And this uh, boot time isn't anything to do with the ROM. It is basically to do with the fact that the phone isn't the quickest in the world. Like I say, for £79, you get what you get. Um, it's only a dual core. It's you know not blisteringly fast, but it's good enough. Now that's the boot animation. Quite slick little boot animation, quite happy with that. Now I'm running, um, it comes with um, 
Nova Launcher, I think, as the, the launcher of choice, and there's a Google one as well, but I've actually put Go Launcher X on. That's what you'll see when it boots up, running over the top. I just prefer that launcher. It's kind of flashy, kind of got some features in I like. But you'll see how the ROM itself, how it operates, and how things work. Camera's working, right? So you've got your lock screen. It's just setting itself up at the minute. I do apologize for the dark um, moody wallpaper. That's just me. That's to do with me ghost hunting, which I will be doing some more videos on shortly. Oops, sorry, caught the, the laptop there. Which I will be doing some more videos on shortly to do with EVPs. Right, so basically you've got your lock screen. I'm still finishing setting up. I'll just go back to that lock screen takes a couple of seconds for the phone to sort of sort itself out again that's not nothing to do with the ROM that's just the phone it's it's not the quickest in the world and it takes a couple of seconds to set itself up and get itself sorted as you can see there once it's on everything's nice and smooth you might get a little bit of juddering and a little bit of lag but that's not on the phone that's on the camera because this camera's only recording something like 15 frames a second Right, go back out to the lock screen. You've got your lock screen, which you can initialize, and you've got I've only got two shortcuts on there at the minute, which your classic lock screen, camera that side, unlock that side. And this is Go Launcher. It's basically, um, I can say a launcher of choice. I like it because it's got like a, a memory shutdown thing here, so you can clean your memory up and things, which on a phone that doesn't have a lot of memory is a good idea. Now, I do have a clock on there, but the clock app seems to take a a couple of seconds to get itself up and running I don't know why I think it's just again that app but as you can see everything is fairly smooth you got your pull down notification now some people have said that's laggy it is a little bit and this is what I don't understand people are saying oh that's really laggy it's really awful it's a fecking pull down menu whether it's laggy or not is irrelevant. It's your pull-down menu. Why does it need to be running at 120 frames a second for a pull-down menu? You pull it down and the stuff in it. Is it really that important? You can actually swipe left and right to get to your different menu things here. Obviously, you can click that little button there. That'll take you to the same thing. But I like, kind of like that. Again, a nice little touch. You can just swipe left and right. You can alter all these things in here. You've got like location services on and off, your Wi-Fi, your airplane mode, Bluetooth, um, brightness which I reduce and you might be able to see this a little bit better actually you can that's not too bad but uh, as you can see everything's just nice and smooth everything works everything's there I don't have any problems with it at all everything's nice and smooth everything just seems to work seemingly apart from my clock which seems to have oh there it is my clock's decided to finally come on yay like I say, I must get a new clock app. I just like the way this one looked, but it seems to take a while to boot up. And it's not the ROM, because it does that on stock ROM as well, so don't quite know what's going on there. But obviously, you can alter all sorts of stuff, like the uh, the battery indicator there. It's a little circle. It's hard to see, but it is there. That's standard, a little battery symbol, but you can go into all your settings. If I actually... Um, that's the wrong way. If you go into um, your settings... You've got custom settings in here. There's one for Slim Center ROM, which in here, again, a nifty little thing. You can go and it'll check to see if you've got the latest version of the ROM automatically. And if you haven't, you can download it and flash it. And you've got this, which is uh, basically allows you to uninstall system apps. Obviously, you've got to be careful what you run and install because you don't want to be uninstalling something that will then lock the phone or the you know the, an actual system specific thing. But it's a bit like um, what do you call it? I can't remember the name of the app now. But basically, it allows you to uninstall system apps. Just be careful in here, guys. If you flash this ROM, it's handy for uninstalling some of the junk that comes installed or installed with these ROMs and things and. Um, specific stuff like I removed a couple but be very careful what you're uninstalling so that is a, a decent little thing 
I've got the real dark um, modification thing on and what that does is if uh, I'll show actually I'll show you rather than trying to explain if I go into the app store instead of being like the standard app store because I've got that setting turned on it's all like big icons dark themed and it's that it's basically like a, a dark theme that if if the app you're running supports it it'll it'll use it you can see it, it looks slightly different to the um the stock app store but it is just because that sentence turned on if i go in just to prove a point settings and i turn that off You can see, I don't know whether you saw there, but it changed the background, is now not as dark. And if I go back into the App Store, you can see now the App Store is now back to the way it was. It's now bright, light, and the icons and the layout is just slightly different. But I kind of like the mean, black, moody sort of look, so... To me, I tend to leave that switched on because I kind of like that. But it's a nifty little feature of the ROM. So we'll turn that back on. You've got your standard, all your standard features. And just to prove to people that this is genuinely what it says it is. Don't know whether you can read it there. Android version 4.4.2. I don't know whether it does the thing where you tap on that. It'll... There you go. KitKat. Tap on it. Okay, keep tapping. Android SlimCat 4.4.2. Just some people don't believe you sometimes. I'm not going to go through all the settings of the phone because obviously, you know, it's Android 4.4.2. You've got all the normal settings in there. Like I say, you've got some extra there. You've got some extra stuff in here for navigation and your battery symbol. So you can alter all the colors of your batteries. You can alter the style of battery. These are just a few extra little modifications that's in there. Navigation, so you've got global. And you can turn, again, all the icons. You can swap them, change them, swap the sound. So it, it has got some slim cat um, specific things in the menus. But apart from that, all your other menu, or everything else is there. Now, what plus and minuses? The only minus that I've found... See, a lot of people are complaining that they have a lot of Wi-Fi drop out. The Wi-Fi just keeps cutting out and cutting in, cutting out. I have had no such issues, guys. Not one. No, I have not had not had one single Wi-Fi dropout. The only thing that I've had is sometimes the sound player back, you get a little bit of skip, a little bit like a, like a tiny little hiccup. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. What I've also found is the sound is a lot louder on this ROM than it is on stock. So I can forgive that little bit of hiccup every now and again. The sound player back isn't that important to me. I don't use this to listen to music as I'm walking around and things that often, so it is not really an issue. Camera, just a thing. Okay, camera boots are fine. You long press on the screen, you get the this, this pop-up menu thing where you can alter everything from there. That's where your settings and things are. Nice little camera. And just to prove the video side, also boots up and it works. Records in 480p, uh, several formats, MPEG, H.264, H.263. Just seems to work. Obviously, on this phone, it's not a very fast phone, so you don't necessarily get absolutely stunning, smooth playback, but that's, again, down to the phone. Actually, in operation, as you can see, like I say, I'm, I record this in 15 frames a second, so you might see a little bit of lag, but there is no lag. That there that I'm scrolling is absolutely pixel silky smooth. And obviously on a better phone, you're going to get slightly better results. Now I will put a link to the SlimCat um, ROM itself. I will also put a, uh, a link to the actual um, source of the ROM, which is www.slimroms.net. That will take you to the actual developer's website of this ROM. And obviously I'll link to Modico um, website as well that puts a link to all the ROMs and keeps as a forum, keeps things updated and things. So you've got the best of both. But basically, if you've got one of these phones or the derivatives that SlimCat allows, because um, I think this comes in a G500, a G510, different variations, but it's an excellent ROM if you want SlimCat. As long as you follow the instructions, as long as you... I think you've got to unlock the bootloader on these, which, again, took us two seconds, the software, to do it. 
slashed the custom recovery on, took us minutes, got the ROM, put it on, got the, the gaps, the Google Apps thing package, which comes with this as well. You've got uh, different versions of it, slimmer ones or ones with everything bolted in, did the wipes, flashed the ROM, flashed the gaps, booted the phone up, set it up, working fine. I've had no random reboots, which people are talking about, never rebooted itself once. I've had no problems with uh, apps crashing or locking up or not working, which some people have reported, even down to Facebook not working and everything cocking up. It's because here, they either haven't got the correct recovery zone, they're using the older one, which you can flash it with that, but it will you will have issues, guys, big issues, and I think that's what people are doing. You get the custom recovery that I've got, or, or even the late, there might be a later one now. Make sure you get that on, flash, and everything's going to work. I mean, I've got BBM on, I've got WhatsApp, I've got Facebook, I've got the Play Store. You see, I've got all, a few things. I've got a couple of my ghost apps, which I will be using later on. I've got alternative markets. You know, I've just I've just installed the stuff I would normally use. Some games. The games run fine. I've had no problems with. Obviously, I am not going to be running massive frame rates on 3D games on a phone of this caliber. But they work and they playable and they don't crash. I've had no problems because, again, like I said, I followed the instructions to the letter and it all works. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Like I said, I will put links to the two websites where you can think. You can go and have a look. There is everything you need to know about installing this ROM. All this video was basically about is showing you that the ROM works, that it's genuine. Like I say, I do have a modified front end. That's the Go Launcher X that I've got on there, but it does come with actually just before I go I will show you um, the one it comes with which I can do quite easily if you bear with me you press the home button you can select between home launchers and it comes with Nova launcher which I uninstalled and go launcher which is this one uh, not go launcher that's the one I was using idiot the Google now launcher which is basically this again a very competent little launcher with the Google search bar, the standard app draw, and if you're happy with that, that's what it comes with as stock, and it works fine. It works with no problems, but like I say, I kind of like my Go launcher. I don't know why. I think it's just because of some of the flashy effects. I'm a bit fickle like that. I do like a bit of eye candy. So basically, you can swap home screens just as quick as that. Again, with the thing in the ROM and back on and away we go you're long pressed to get rid of stuff works so you can press the button and just shut it out it all just worked guys everything works so I'm going to leave it there if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to drop us some comments and uh, thing and as usual guys I do get for some reason quite a bit of trolling and things like that if you're going to put negative comments or just troll or Put stupid comments which I've had in the past I will not even respond so don't even think I will answer any questions genuinely on the ROM itself and any help you may need but anything else if you just go on a comment and put shake down I will not even respond so you're wasting your time you might as well pop onto the next video and put your trolling on there because you will get nowhere with me guys so for all you genuine guys drop a comment I'll answer best I can pop to the websites see what you can find Everything should be there. Everything that will tell you what to do to get this ROM on and, you know, get these uh, slightly older phones with the moderner, moderner Android on, which the manufacturers say you can't do, but obviously you can because you're looking at it. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.